Damn, everyone is in the race of making the best neckband earphones. Now we have the Oppo M31. So in today's video, let's see how well they perform in terms of build quality, comfort, features, battery life and sound quality. Also, if this is something you should put your money on. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and before getting to the video, if you want to find the best deal on this earphone, you can check out the first link down below in the description. So recently I reviewed the Oppo W31 which were a great true wireless earphones from Oppo. That was my first time I tried an Oppo device and I was really impressed. Now they have dropped their new Oppo M31, a neckband style of earphones and every one of you was like, bro, check this out. So you know I have to make a video. So let's hope in and do a quick unboxing to see what you will get in inside the box if you pick one up. So here is the shipping packet from Amazon and it is not very interesting to see. So let's quickly pop this thing and take out our retail packaging. Here it is. Ah, uh, there is a plastic sheet. Let's remove this as well. Now it is nice and tidy. So as you can see here it says Oppo and below this we can see an image of the earphones itself, how they are supposed to look. Below this it says Oppo M31. Now on the sides it says Oppo again on both of the sides. But coming to the back of the box we have some features. Let's take a quick read. We have LDAC audio transmission. We will talk about it in a minute. Hi-res wireless audio, 9.2 millimeter driver, AI noise reduction. It also says smart magnetic earbuds. 22 gram weight, 8 hours of LDAC playtime, bass mode and IPX5 water rating. Below this we have MRP of the device which we are going to skip because it's not what they sell this on. But I'm excited to check this out so let's quickly unbox this. So the first thing we can see here we get is the earphones that are sitting nicely in the package. Let's take it out. First impression is that they feel very high grade, similar to the OnePlus Bullet C, if not better. But we have whole video to admire this. So let's put this aside and see what else do we have in the box. Now it is so good to see that we get free candies inside the box. So that's good. I was kidding, please do not eat this. You will probably die. But down we have this little compartment which contains a USB-C cable, some extra ear tips and our beloved user manual and warranty card. We are going to keep this and this is for noobs. So those were all the contents of the box and now let's move to the review. Now this is the first time I'm trying any neckband earphones from Oppo and I have to say that I'm impressed by the design and build quality of these earphones. First of all, this is a neckband earphone but unlike other, this has a soft flexible neckband which doesn't irritate at all. Generally, we have this hard neck band which feels like you're carrying something on your neck. But the band here is quite soft and you won't mind it. If you want to put this in your pocket, then you can do that. Talking about the weight, the earphones weigh 22 grams, which is quite feather like. Mostly light wind neck band earphones weighs around 30 grams, but this is even lighter than that. Other materials feel premium and high quality as well. We have these end caps in metal. Although I feel the cable to be a little fragile, but overall the build quality feels good and seems like it will last quite a long time. Now talking about the comfort and fitting, the earphones are comfortable. I didn't face any issues even after using it for three to four hours. The thing is that the earphones are so tiny in size in comparison to other earphones. So when you pop them in, they snug fit into your ears and become well secured. Even if they don't have any ear hooks, they will not fall out during heavy workouts or running sessions. So there are a lot of features on the M31. First of all, we have Bluetooth 5.0, but with no multiple device connectivity. But if you're connected to your smartphone and now you want to connect to your laptop, you can select the Oppo M31 from your laptop and it will disconnect from the phone and connect to your laptop instantaneously. Second, we get Hi-Res and LDAC on this thing, which is the first time I'm seeing this on an earphones at this budget. So if you don't know about the Hi-Res and LDAC, then let me give you a quick explanation. Hi-Res is a technology for providing more frequencies than the 44.1 kilohertz, or you can say 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz range, which is the generally human's listening range. But with Hi-Res, you will get frequencies 96 kilohertz, that is 20 hertz to 40 kilohertz. Although we cannot hear them, but it makes the music more serene and enjoyable. So this feature is included in the M31. Second, we have LDAC. So what is LDAC? Well, you might know that there are different types of encoding like the SPC, which is standard among all the devices and AAC encoding, which is pretty common in Apple devices. Those encodings are good, but they are limited to 320 kilobits per second. So there is something 
called LDAC, which is capable of providing us 990 kilobits per second, thus provides near to CD quality experience. So if you want to take your music listening experience to the next level, then you should definitely try the LDAC. Now to play LDAC, first of all, you need a smartphone that supports LDAC encoding. Mostly phones with Qualcomm or MediaTek processors are supported, but you can go to your smartphone's developer settings and see if you have this LDAC option in your device. Once you have switched to that, now you need audio format that supports 990 kilobits per second like the flag. Now I know all of you watching this video might want to stop the video here because you might be saying who has the flag or mp3 files everyone is streaming bro. So to make it easier you don't have to download the flag files. There are services like Amazon Music HD or Tidal which supports flag playback. Now if you want to listen to lifelike music experience you should try the Amazon Music HD at least once and affiliate links are down below so you can take a look. But I know 99% of us don't intend to use this feature. Everyone will be streaming music on YouTube 126 kilobits per second. Yuck. So we are going to ignore this feature. Moving on we have magnetic buds which means the earphones have magnets. So if you are not using the earphones you can easily manage them onto your neck. Along with that we also get auto on and off which means whenever you will connect the two earbuds together they will pause the playback and turn the earphones off and whenever you will detach them it will turn on. So this saves a lot of battery and also there is no need to hold any kind of button for few seconds to turn them on or off. To make things durable we have IPX5 rating which means you can easily throw water splashes and it will take all that. So those were all the features on the M31. Now let's talk about the battery life. For the battery specification we have 88 mAh battery on the M31 which is quite low in terms of mAh but after an hour of charge with the USB Type-C port it is supposed to give us 12 hours of playback on typical audio format and 8 hours if you are on listening to the LDAC. Similarly in my testing I was able to get around 10 hours of playback at 60% of volume which is pretty average as compared to other neckband earphones but I think most of us would only charge it once a day so we can get away with this. To control media playback we have the main multifunction button and volume rocker on the neckband which can do all kind of stuff like the play pause, change tracks, adjust the volume, skip track, use voice assistant and take calls. And there is a feature for calling which is the AI noise reduction which means the earphones use AI to reduce the background noises. So the mic quality should be good on this but let me give you a quick test so you can just by yourself. This is the audio quality test of the inline mic on the Oppo Enco M31. Now coming down to the crucial part of any audio device which is the sound quality. Talking about the driver specification we have 9.2 millimeter driver which produces excellent sound. Now in terms of sound there is a great thing about these and the Oppo W31 which are their true wireless earphones which is the different modes. So basically we have two type of people one who like balanced sounding earphones and the second one who like bass oriented but every earphone has its own character and there is no one size fit for all. So we as a reviewer cannot give you a go to recommendation to everyone. But here on the M31 we get balance and bass modes. So if you are the one who like balance sound then you can switch to balance mode and if you want explosive bass then you can switch to bass mode. Now for the sound itself the sound is very good on each of the modes. On balanced mode what I mostly listen to we have good mids and highs with the bass at the apt amount and there is so much clarity. Everything is so present. This is the perfect mode for almost all genre like acoustic, pop, rock etc. But sometimes when I switch to the bass mode I feel it's on another level. It feels like a 3D kind of bass if you guys are getting me. The boosted bass makes some hip hop trap music to be much more enjoyable. One thing I noticed was that the earphones add a little bit of reverb when you switch to bass mode which I don't like much but maybe you will. Yes but on the EDM songs it makes you feel like you are in the club. Now in terms of loudness and clarity the earphones are loud and clear even at max volume although you won't have to go that far. In all the earphone serves a great sound quality and you can definitely try the LDAC to take your listening experience to a whole new level. But now coming down to the price the earphones are set to 2000 rupees in India and 100 dollars in the US. Why? Maybe the seller is out of his head but maybe by the time you are watching this video the price might change. So you can see the updated price from the links down below in the description. But for the price I would say they are priced well. Every neckband earphones are at this range at this price point and it totally justifies the features and 
and the sound quality we are getting here. So if you are looking for an earphones under 2000 rupees, you can definitely pick this up. Now, if you want me to compare this neckband earphones with the OnePlus Bullet C, please do let me know in the comments down below. But that's been it guys, that was today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, just click the like button below, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye. Oh,